more than this. All right. Okay. Now we are up and ready to go. All right. Welcome, everybody. Can you all see me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen with you. We're going to go over the agenda. Um, this is part of your agenda. Agenda for the day. Okay. We're going to do a quick check in just to see um, anything that you just want to share. How's the week going? What are you looking forward to? And then I think three of you should have your shared, your sketches of what you want to do with your weaving. Okay. You don't have your sketchbook out in front of you. This is a good opportunity to go get it. Okay. And then after we're done sharing, I have a fun new assignment for you. It's called the flow chart, which sounds so dull and boring. Um, but it's actually really fun. Actually, I'm going to grab the baby while you guys grab it. Oh, um, so we're going to cover the flow chart slides in just a minute, and then you'll use the rest of class to work on your weaving. Okay. And I will post this at the end of class today, your assignment, but I'm just letting you know right now it's due 331, which is next Tuesday, I believe. Okay. Oh my God, it's already the end of March. I know. Isn't it crazy? Totally crazy. All right. So let's go take a look at a flow chart. Oh, wait, no, I forgot to ask. How are you guys doing? So share, I want to hear something um, either that you've been up to this week or something you're looking forward to this weekend. <laughs> um, I mean, oh, I started doing something with uh, beads and stuff um, because I discovered that they still have a lot of like these beads, if you remember them. Oh, great. Yeah. So I've started kind of messing around with them, mostly uh -huh. just organizing them by color because I've been bored, but they're really fun. So I'm trying to think of something cool to do with them. Fun. Oh, I love it. You know what? It depends on what you want to, you could add it to your weaving in some way. Especially really? Like, yeah, like you could, you know, I mean, that's the thing I want you guys to think about. So you missed last class, but um, the assignment today was to create some sketches of what you want to do with this small weaving when you're done. Um, and so you could add it later on. Maybe it's a push drop. Maybe it's a belt. Maybe it's, um, yeah, Maris, do you want me to pull yours up? Is it online? Um, I forgot to post a picture, but this is, oh, okay. I was thinking like I could like sew them together. Like, so it's going to be like a long stripey kind of situation. So I was thinking mm -hmm. if I sew them all together like this, I can make like a nice blanket because it's always cold in my house. Yeah. Can you hold That's that up like, I'm so excited for yours. Like your pattern is going to be so nice. Mm -hmm. Or like a scarf from my dog. Oh, I know. I read that online. I thought that was very sweet. Yeah. I'm very okay. excited to get a dog. So now can you show us, um, can you show us your weaving so we can see the colors? Yeah. Let's see. Can you see it? Oh, nice. Oh, that is really turning out. Cool. Very nice. All right. Who's next? I think it's just Danielle since Hannah is still. Is it me? Yeah. Okay. So I also forgot to upload her picture, but I will do that soon. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to show you guys my, uh, how do I show this? Let's see. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I don't have very much, to be honest, but. That looks um, great. Is it visible? I don't it, know. Is, it is visible. I can it definitely, is. I can see the entire thing. Oh, great. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so. It looks great. Oh, thank you. Um, I think, so for my sketches, I, I wanted to make like either a belt, which I don't know how exactly I'm going to do that, but, or um, kind of like what Tal was saying, I would make like a decoration that I would just like hang up in my room. Um, yeah, so those are like the two things I think I'm considering. I could honestly think of probably more ideas, but I like those two. I don't know. Those are the first two that kind of you feel attached to, or at least come to mind. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I I hope that you guys are enjoying the weaving. It's um I I find it very therapeutic and relaxing. Um, one thing that I've already noticed after seeing a couple of your weavings is the path. So let me show you very quickly. Do you see how tight that is? So you yeah. want to make sure that you're packing it. And if you're having any troubles packing it down, a fork is really good for that because it 
um, since it has the prongs, then you can, your string is gonna go through and so it packs it a little bit better and tighter than your spacer stick, okay? Um, I actually, so I started mine and I was doing it very tight and then when I continued again, I was doing it much looser and there's like a very noticeable difference, but I kind of liked it better when it was looser. You know what you can do because it's really long, you can continue on in the your new loose way. And then if you, the beginning, you can always either fold over and kind of like sew that over. I mean, how long is the section that you started with before the loose fit? It's pretty long. It's like this long. That's not too bad because remember you're working with, a, you know, the full length of it is at least a yard. So this much in a, you know, in an entire yard is very, very long, or I mean, very, very small. So um, when you get to the end, we can talk about how, what you would do with that, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and talk flow chart. You guys are gonna love this, it's really fun. I'm gonna share my screen with you. We're gonna get rid of that thing, all right. So we've already gone through the agenda. Can everyone see? Thumbs up. Yep, we're good. Great, and we've already shared our homework. And now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the new artistic challenge, which is to create a flow chart. What to do while in is isolation. Okay, this is gonna be super fun. I'm sure you've seen a flow chart. It's in a minute, I'm gonna show you an example of it. It's one of those things where it says like, are you bored? Yes or no? If it's no, Maybe you're like, how the heck is that possible? Or maybe if it's yes, you're like, oh, here, do you wanna go outside? Do you have access to art materials? Yes, no. And then it continues on and on and on and on. Um, it's really fun. So what you're gonna, can I have somebody read the artistic challenge? I don't mind reading it. Danielle, go ahead. Okay, so what to do while in isolation, flowchart. Artistic challenge. Make a flowchart to help people make decisions about what to do when they are bored during the coronavirus pandemic. And the criteria are um, use 8.5 times 11 paper or by 11 paper, watercolor, pencil, pen, or marker, and have a clear direction with arrows and be creative and thoughtful. Great. Okay, so before I answer a question, Maris, I'm going to show you the next slide because this might, might help. What is a flow chart? So on the right hand side, you see it. it um, is it a flow chart? This is a flow chart of a flow chart. It's so meta. Miss Rune, so, yeah. What do you do if you don't have watercolors? Oh, sorry. You know what I should say? I should specify. If you don't have watercolors, you could use anything else that you have in your house. Okay. Isn't it an old thing? Like you can use any one of those. Say that again. Isn't it like, like pen or marker or watercolor? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the more you, yes, sorry, yes, tall. You can definitely use any number of those things. If you add color, I think it just adds to it, but if you don't have colored pencils, watercolor, markers, or anything like that, you do not, um, don't worry, because I'm not gonna take points off, because you just don't have that kind of stuff, right? Okay, thank you for asking those questions. Um, so is it a flow chart? This is a flow chart of a flow chart. Does it flow? Da, da, da. So they're basically yes or no questions that kind of lead you to a, lead you on a path and it's one by one. These are, I'm going to show you a couple examples. This is what inspired the project. This is something that was actually made to help people um, dealing while dealing with this whole coronavirus pandemic and um, to help people actually figure out what they need to do if they feel like they need to um, during this situation, you're going to do something a little bit more fun and uplifting than this. Okay, but that's basically what inspired it. So these are examples of flow charts. Should you get the glitter out? This is pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Step away from the glitter. Isn't that funny? Everything leads to stepping away from the glitter. I love that one. Should I use an emoji? This is funny too. Oh, oh, go that's back. Right. Yeah. I got myself attached to my loom and I'm struggling. <laughs> and I'll, I'll help you guys in just a minute when we get started, okay? 
All right, so before we move on to our work block with our looms, let's finish up here. Any, so Maris, you have a question? Could we like do it on like graphically, so like online? And then yes, I would love that. Yeah, so you can see the one on the right isn't done by hand. If you feel comfortable, then I totally, I would love that. You could do that. You guys have experience using Google Draw. Google Draw would be really easy to do this in because of arrows and word bubbles and obviously like um, graphics and pictures. So that would be a really easy way to get color in and organize stuff. Um, my advice to you before you go straight to either um, your final, before you get to your final draft, which might look like a hand drawing or it might be online, you need to kind of make your make an outline on a piece of paper beforehand because the hard part is organizing it and you want to make sure you already have those ideas kind of um, lined up before you go straight to the final. Okay, thumbs up. Great. And we've already answered questions. Now what? We're going to actually, we're not going to begin the flowchart right now, but this is kind of funny. I started a flowchart on, am I done? I think I'm done. Have you created a title? Yes. Great. Oh, look, this little guy is really distracting me. The baby's like just all over the place. Okay. So now that you know how to make your flowchart, stop sharing this. And I want to open it back up to our lovely looms. Okay, if there are there, let me just ask again, are there any other questions about making your flow chart? Good. Okay, so for the rest of class from now until 1115, we're going to continue working on our looms. Okay, and so I'm going to um, basically open it up and have kind of a q and a if people want help if they just want to check in with me i'm going to just be here to to see how you're doing okay great awesome. I'll, put the baby, I'll be right back on i'll put the baby down 